Hey guys, today I'm going to show you what I have been collecting and trading. So FNM is kind of meh. And I do want to begin with a story about this card. So this is actually a story. So my local game store, this was the buy box promo. And typically I get, I will buy a box of a new set at $100, which is not a bad price for the store. Right? The store is making some money from it. So it's not like I'm reverse reverse price gouging the store which almost never happens in real life but i expected my promo uh, i picked the box up slightly early not like super early like thursday night because i was like oh i don't want to wait till midnight can i just get the box and the person said yeah yeah pick up your promo tomorrow so i got the box and then i went home to sleep the next morning i went to or the next I guess afternoon is I went to the store to pick up my promo and the guy did not give me the promo. He actually said this was a legacy staple and it would be so good and stuff. I was like, no, no, it's not going to be good. Just give me my father a promo. And he wouldn't give me the promo and we had an argument and he shouted at me, I being a customer who has spent thousands of dollars at this store. And at that time I said, okay, I've had enough. Keep your promo. I'm never coming back to the store which is true. I have kept my word. I have not played at the store since that time, that particular store. Anyway, Falias, Drainers, I made separate videos for them because a lot of you are interested in that type of stuff. I'm gonna go over, so these are just like, I don't know what they are, steam vents. I, not, oh, steam vents. <laughs> wow, this is kind of like RTR times, right? Right, when I was collecting steam vents. Uh, vents, if I were to collect one man land, I would collect vents. I think they are actually playable. The other man lands are not, in my opinion, that amazing. These, uh, this card is interesting. It has, so it's banned in EDH, where it's going to see, where it wants to see a ton of play, but it is a legacy for of. But there is opportunity, and the opportunity comes from the boxes being so cheap, and he be, him being in the box, uh, painful Truth uh, Foils are interesting. Kozak's Returns. Okay, Dragon Master Outcast is a very good card. It costs one. It can produce dragons, which is good. Dragon tokens are good. And it's going to hit an all-time low. I would look into this. A lot of these cards are going to rotate. So I'm going to call, call this rotation. Nahiri, I would be very happy. And I'm going to make a move. Now here he has dropped a ton. So he does not see, so he used to be part of that very modern spicy deck in modern where you have you throw Emiko out, but now she does not see much play at all in, in the eternal format. So I think she's going to drop a ton. I would love to fill up these pages of Nahiri. I think she's very good. I think she's incredible for a planeswalker. Uh, here's some Adrazi. I do want to focus on my favorite Adrazi. Uh, foil, non-foil. I will, I will tell you this, foils are very hard to sell and they're very hard to trade. The typical person who wants you know, a pimp foil are, is going to be a lot more, how should I say, picky in the conditioning of the card. I would rather just trade a regular card away or place that away. This card is very, very strong. I have played Magic since beta and I know what creatures look like. I know Fungusaur, I know Tamagoyf, I knew Tamagoyf was a laughing stock. I knew that Lion's Eye Diamond was a crappy card that people would make write, Inquest would write articles about how to use it because that was the key. It was so bad, no one could use it. So they would write funny articles about how to use Lion's Eye Diamond. And obviously that was before Dredge. And I've seen people have God books and know what's going to be reprinted or what's going to be printed next. I, I saw the worst land I ever could imagine. Well, I, I don't know, times 400 in price overnight based on Vampire Hex Maids. And you can, it's Dark Depths, right? If you didn't have Vampire Hex Maids or later on the stage, how would you ever activate this? You're putting in too much mana for like this thing. You could literally do anything for, with that mana, but if you could cheat and, and play, you are good to go. So I have seen a lot of interesting stuff in Magic, but I have not never seen a card like this. This is a very strong card, as I point to a blank page. This is an incredibly strong card. 
I mean, it reminds me of Vendillion Click, but it's just bigger and it's just better. And the you know, Androgy Dex, I mean, comes out as fast as a Vendillion Click, and it's a bigger body, and I think it does more. So Vendillion Click automatically replaces the card for them. This one, they have to kill it, and they cannot kill it with a Lightning Bolt, which is huge. That is huge. So they have to spend removal. If they don't spend removal, you're going to hit them in the face. It's really hard to block. Great card. Anyway, that is kind of what I'm collecting right now. Hopefully I can fill up this binder with all of those stuff I just mentioned. Bye guys.